love. And uh, oh, I, I'm not obliged to talk in uh, English. That's the grace of God. Hindi naman sa ako'y natutuwa na wala sila para hindi tayo mahirapang mag-alabas. That's life. First uh, John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. Verses um, 1 to 5. So, sa isa pang pagkakataon, I would like you to all stand with me and read with me our text. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. By this, we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has, over, that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it? that overcomes the world, except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Let's all pray. Maraming salamat po, Diyos, sa muli sa pagkakataon ito na dinakong mo kami sa lugar na ito at sa 1 John chapter 5, verses 1. Thank you, Lord, for the richness of thy word. Salamat po, Diyos, sa mga simple mong mga salita na may mga makahulugan uh, na makahulugan sa buhay ng bawat, bawat isa sa amin. Salamat po o Diyos sa amin na uh, mensahe na iyo pong uh, paparating sa bawat isa. Nalangin namin na ikaw ang patuloy na maluwalhati at mabigyan ng kabuhihan. Pangalan ni Jesus, ito ang aming dalangin. Amen. Let's all be seated. Sino pong nakakaalala ng ating mensahe nung nakaraang Friday? The Love of God and it was taken from the book of First John chapter 4, 7 to 11. Uh, sige na po, dahil maaga pa naman, <laughs> Pero ba kayong hindi makakalimutan doon sa mga ating uh, narinig? God is love. <laughs> God is love. <laughs> love your brothers. Okay, love never contradicts the truth. Yan God is the source of love and God, love should be the distinguishing mark of the, all the Christians in the world. Ano pa, ano pa? Maganda yung ano eh. Hindi masyadong puyat na tama-tama ng nakakanta bago matulog. Uh, medyo... God demonstrated. Love is not an option. It is a virtue to one another. Love is not an option. It is a virtue. Okay? May nihintay pa ako eh. Pag ko na yun, okay na ako. Okay. Genuine biblical love comes from God. Genuine na biblical pa. Eh, sa Diyos yun. <laughs> That's the love. Love one another. Love should be the mark of a believer. Love should be the mark. Yes, brother Renato. God's love lifts us. 
God's love is great in us. Ay, inihintay pa akong isa eh. Ah, uh, meron pa naman tayong 30 seconds. Whoever loves those has been born. So those, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> whoever, uh, whoever has love. Hindi, yun ay sinabi na yun. Uh, May hinihintay pa ako eh. <laughs> uh, love is not separate from His holiness. Okay, we should not separate His uh, love from His holiness love, and His love justice. Love and truth is inseparable. Love and truth and justice is inseparable. <laughs> 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 Matay tayo dyan. <laughs> 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 Love your enemy. Love your enemy. Love your enemy. Love your enemy. Okay. Love your enemy. 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 Love Love uh, does not uh, let us love one another. Let us love one another. So, yung agapilag only love from God. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that's the meaning of uh, okay. love never. Uh, the love of God to Jesus, to us. May hinihintay pa ako. <laughs> Pag narinig ko yun, uh, okay na tayo. Hindi na ako mag-i-intro, hintayin ko na lang yun. O kaya, assignment na lang. God demonstrated His love by giving Jesus God demonstrated His love by giving Jesus while we were sinners. Habang tayo ay lumalangoy sa while we were yet sinners. Beloved, let us love. Beloved, let us love one another. May 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 halimbawa, may illustration pa nga ako doon. Illustration. Ah. Love never compromise. Sige, eh, bibigyan ko kayo ng idea. Paki, yan, ano niyo na lang sa isang sense. Baka naman nasabi na kanina, hindi ko lang na... Uh, nung kanina kasi, yung unang bukso, sunod-sunod eh. Kaya medyo... <laughs> na ano, okay. Yan, nakalimutan ko na ito doon. Wala na? Pero parang kahalip ka malapit o parang katulad na rin nung uh, yung hindi may nagsabi kanina na yung sinabi mo kanina brother uh, white uh, ay kalimutan <laughs> mo na rin ah hindi natin kinakailangan ihiwalay yung love sa Paano mo sinabi yun? Love never contradicts truth. Something like that. Yung gusto kong marinig. Yung bang may ba may, may illustration pa nga ako na uh, ito, maalala ninyo. Sa huwag na muna nating pag-usapan ng doktrina. Ah, uh, di ba? Yung mga kong kumarinig eh. Sige nga, paki ano oh, naman ang uh, sentence. Alam na, aso hindi mga malala. Hindi uh, <laughs> ko maano sa sentence eh. Uh, Isa yun sa mga gusto kong marinig eh. Sige nga, pakipuo yun. Love never... Uh, basketball na lang tayo. Love never compromises for the truth. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, 
Yun yung idea doon. Na uh, wag not English kasi. Na, kaya nakalimutan ko. Love does not dodge conflict. <laughs> yung hindi niya sila sagot. Basta wag natin i-compromise yung yung love sa unity. Yun, yun, yun. O, nakukuha na. Uh, para lang hindi... Uh, dahil sa love, para hindi tayo mag-away, para hindi tayo magkasamaan ng loob, eh, huwag na natin pag-usapan yan kung saan tayo nagkakaroon ng hindi pagkakaintindihan. Dito tayo sa uh, nagkakaintindihan. Pero kung ito ay mga doctrinal matters which pertains to heaven and hell and to our salvation, and uh, uh, the sovereignty of God is uh, at stake, ikana. Eh, we, we, we should not compromise love for the sake of unity or, or in the truth for the sake of uh, unity. Okay? Uh, okay na ako doon? Uh, so here, uh, nung, nung nakaraan, nung nakaraan sa chapter 4 tayo, verses 7 to 11, at ngayon ay narito na tayo sa uh, last chapter ng 1st John. And uh, John is moving on towards his conclusion of this letter. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, dito sa ating binasa, hanggang sa mga hindi natin nabasa, sa hanggang sa pagtatapos, uh, uh, ay sinam up niya or para bang uh, dito na niya inipon lahat at uh, sinabi niya sa ilang mga sentences kung ano yung kanyang uh, conclusion. At binigyan ko ito ng pamagat na the marks of uh, the new birth. Uh, alam naman natin na nabanggit na dyan ang, ang love mula pa sa uh, di ba sabi ko nung nakaraan uh, sa sa chapter 2, chapter 3 and sa chapter 4 uh, sa chapter 5 ay uh, sa chapter 2 binigyan din niya ang pag-ibig ng Diyos hanggang sa chapter 3 at medyo mahaba yung kanyang uh, uh, mga sinabi sa chapter 4 about love tuna niya pinagdikbikan kasi malapit na siya sa conclusion ng, ng uh, uh, letter na ito Kaya dito sa pagtatapos ay uh, sinamarize niya na um, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos uh, kinakailangan ay mula pa sa chapter 4 ay um, evident sa bawat mga kristyano at nagbigay din siya dito sa chapter 5 ng mga katangian kumbaga or test ng isang uh, genuine or authentic na na Kristiano. Ano ba uh, ang ang characteristic o marks or what are the vital signs na makikita natin sa isang Kristiano? Pagmasayahin ba Kristiano? Pagmalungkotin hindi. Uh, kapag jolly go lucky ay uh, Kristiano or kapag hindi nang babate uh, or kapag suplada or suplado ay uh, hindi na uh, kristyano so makikita natin dito uh, na lahat ng mga katangian or marks or signs or the vital signs na makikita natin sa isang kristyano dito pa lang sa mag-uumpisa ng chapter 5 lahat nakadepende doon sa kanilang new birth bilang pundasyon uh, lahat ng iyon. It all boils down, it all starts from a person who must be born again or who must be regenerated. So, dito titingnan natin yung ilang mga dynamic or vital or marks, vital marks or dynamic marks or signs of the new birth. Dahil kung may isang tao ay tunay na, na nakareceive ng, ng, ng buhay, ng bagong buhay mula sa Diyos dahil sa kanyang pag-ibig, babalikan na naman natin yun. Yun ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Ginawa niya yun 
Nag-impart siya ng bagong buhay sa atin dahil sa kanyang pag-ibig. At kinakailangan, ang buhay na ito ay maging uh, ika nga eh, yung mga sinyales or mga signs ay makita sa atin na tayo nga ay totoong uh, we are born from God, born of God, we are regenerated, and out of the love of God, He imparted new life to us. And if these vital signs are not evident, uh, exam-examine muna tayo ng konti sa ating mga buhay. If we are truly uh, has been born again. So the vital signs of the new birth here na pag-uusapan natin ay yung faith in Jesus Christ, love for others, and uh, yung nabasa natin kanina, isa pa yung obedience to God's uh, commandments. So first of all, titingnan muna natin yung uh, the new birth, which, which is the foundation of this uh, uh, marks or these signs na titingnan natin maya-maya. Dito sa verse 1, ay nagbanggit, nabanggit ni, 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 ni John yung mga salitang born of God. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. At isa pa dito sa verse 4, for everyone who has been born of God. So, uh, the new life or the new birth ay uh, kinakailangan ang maging starting point ng ating relasyon sa Diyos. We have to be weakened. We have to be regenerated first. So, uh, ma maaring pumunta, maaring sabihin natin, lagi naman na akong nasa church, lagi naman akong uh, uh, pumupunta sa church, sa Bible studies, sa prayer uh, meetings, uh, nagbibigay naman ako ng uh, aking mga dapat ibigay or ikapo sa church. Pero hindi ito yung mga bagay na makapag, sabi nga, ika nga, ay makapagdadala sa atin doon sa langit. Sabihin ko sana sa pintuan ng langit. May teacher kasi ako noon na, sa, hindi, ko siya, hindi ko pinagmamalaki. Ayaw ko na rin sanang banggitin, pero nabang, uh, babanggitin ko na. So baka ma, ma, mabitin kayo. Uh, hindi ko makalimutan yung teacher ko sa Bible school na sabi niya, di ba ang saya-saya, makarating lang ako sa pinto ng langit. Or sana mali ako. Baka sabi niya, makapasok lang ako. Something like that. Mas maganda sana yung makapasok lang. Uh, kaysa yung makarating. Uh, sa... Uh, Anyway, uh, hindi tayo doon, pero sana hindi naririnig sa atin yun. Um, spiritually, before we are born again, we are all dead in our trespasses. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1. And you were dead in your trespasses and in your sins. So what we need is new life that only God can impart. Only God can impart. Nalala ko yung pinapanood kong magic. Nagma-magic. At ang dami kong naalala. Uh, hindi ko alam kung may kaugnayan dito. Uh, naalala ko yung napapanood kong magic kasi nga, usong-uso na ngayon sa church yung... Kasi sa, 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 ang tingin ng mundo sa church, eh, di ba, tatlo isang daan na lang. Uh, may magaling mag-magic. May... may Ah, uh, kunwari daw may kaibigan siyang si Desmond. Tapos uh, alam niya kung ano yung iniisip mo at uh, isa sa mga naging magic niya, magic trick niya or illusion ay uh, nababasa niya kung ano yung nasa isip ng uh, tao. Inuutusan lang niya si Desmond kung ano yun. So maya-maya ay makikita na nito. So may nag may nag may nag uh, na, makikita na niya yung iniisip ng tao nakasulat na doon sa chalkboard wala namang nagsulat pero sabi niya para maniwala kayong wala itong trick hindi to digital chalkboard lang ito at may chalk diba? kung ano nga yung iniisip ng judge na, na ano niya, yun nga yung napunta doon so may nag, binasa ko yung ilang mga comments sabi ng mga nag-comment kapag ito may church, kikita ito <laughs> uh, so ganun na lang kasi ang tingin ng uh, uh, tao sa uh, para bang nasasanay na sila na gano'n? 
or hindi ko alam kung reformed yung uh, <laughs> nag-comment na, na talagang binibigyan diin niya na uh, ganun na ang nangyayari ngayon. And sad to say, um, maraming mga parokyano. Uh, hindi ko matasabing ano eh, uh, mga followers o oh, oh, followers na. Maraming mga followers, maraming mga uh, tumatangkilik o mga uh, attenders. So, wait. Ba't ba, ba tayo nakapunta doon? Uh, we need is, uh, what we need is new life that only God can impart dahil nga we were dead in our trespasses and uh, uh, sins. So, we cannot attain uh, that life in our own effort in this uh, world. Diba? It is not a matter of trying hard or maglilinis ka ng, ng uh, iyong buhay sa pamamagitan ng mga New Year's resolution, sa pamamagitan ng mga uh, promise na uh, ginagawa natin. Hindi natin matatamo yung buhay ngayon uh, na tinatawag na new life, kundi ang Panginoon, ang Diyos lamang, ang makagagawa nun. So, sabi dito, rather the initiative and the power lie with God. Ang uh, sabi ng, ng, ng uh, ating Panginoong Jesus, For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son also give life to whom He wishes. Sana maliwanag yun, no? Uh, Sa so John chapter 5, verse 21. The Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son also gives life to whom He wishes. Unang-una, uh, sa mga miracles ng ating Panginoong Jesus, that was true. Raising the physically dead back to life. But also, uh, spiritually, the Lord also gives life to whom He wishes. Or kung kanino niya, Gusto. At babalik na naman tayo doon sa pillars ng ating mga uh, doctrinal stand that God, that because, ba, kaya nga nangyari ang mga bagay na yun, bakit nangyayari yun? Because God is the sovereign over our salvation. At uh, hindi ko alam kung matatawag nating basic yun or uh, of course, sa atin na mga uh, nag embrace dito ay very basic ito sa atin. Because the Apostle Peter, sabi niya sa 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His great mercy has caused us to be born again, to a living hope that through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. May sinabi rin si Apostle Pablo tungkol doon sa Ephesians chapter 2, But God, being rich in mercy, because of His great love which with, with which He loved us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. And by grace, you have been saved. So the new birth, the uh, regeneration, is totally a work of God. Uh, lagi natin inuulit yun na we cannot play an active role uh, doon sa bagay na yun. Why? Because we are spiritually dead. Amen. Amen. So many mistakenly think that being born again is a matter of eto na naman tayo, free will or choice. Certainly, we we must choose to trust in Christ. John chapter 1, verse 12. Pero ang tanong, how can a dead sinner do that? How, how can a dead sinner uh, uh, trust in Christ? Sabi ng John chapter 1, verse 13, Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Just as none of us had any say in whether we would be born physically, wala tayong say, basta na lang tayo uh, ano yung sabi ng uh, lagi nating naririnig, basta na lang tayo iniri. Uh, yun, ang, ano, yun ang salitang kanto eh. 
na ating naririnig, um, wala tayong say doon, basta na lang tayo. Ganon din naman, sa hindi rin natin uh, madidetermina that we would born, we would be born spiritually. It is entirely a work of God and of course, according to His sovereign will. So, in other words, ikana, the Bible teaches that the reason that you choose Christ or to trust Christ is that God has quickened us. Sabi doon sa yung uh, terminology ng uh, uh, King James Version, from the dead. Uh, he gives us, which is ang ibig sabihin, eh, binigyan niya tayo, He imparted life doon sa ating pagkakamatay. Physical, uh, spiritually. So otherwise, no one could or would choose to trust Christ. And we know that the new birth is essential. Kaya nga sabi natin kanina, uh, lahat ay nag-uumpisa doon sa uh, pagbibigay ng bagong buhay sa atin ng Diyos and everything follows. Maya-maya, titingnan natin yun. So, uh, the new birth is the basis of the Christian life. So, titingnan natin yung tatlong test or marks or vital sign. Una sa natin binanggit yung faith in Jesus as the Christ, the Son of God. Dito sa uh, verse 1, dito sa verse 4, at dito sa uh, verse 5. Faith is the result of the new birth, not the cause of it. Ano daw, Pastor? Faith is the result of new birth and not the result of it. Pag may kumontra, hindi ko itutuloy ito. Lalaktawan natin yung uh, uh, point na ito. For the sake of unity. Uh, for the sake of unity. <laughs> <laughs> Ang maganda yung pagkakatranslate ng ESV dito sa verse 1 ng chapter 5 ng 1 John. Kasi ang sabi niya, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ, take note, has been born of God. So everyone who believes, bawat isa na, 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 na nampalataya or naniwala, has been sa ating Panginoong Jesus bilang siya ang Kristo, has been born of God. Of God. It indicates Yung salitang has been, it indicates an action that took place in the past. And of course, with continuing results in the present and in the future. So, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. So in other words, dito, John is emphasizing that faith is the result or evidence of the new birth and not the cause of it. Uh, I would like you. I, I, I would like to encourage you to to listen or to watch the yung iba pang mga mga explanation or sagot dito ng ating uh, yung maong kaibigan. <laughs> Robert Charles. Sabi ko sa ng RC pero may RC din tayo. Spro. Uh, 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 at uh, ang ating kaibigan na si. Uh, John Mack. Ang dami nang linya ni John Mack dito pag siya ay uh, pinupokus sa uh, uh, ba tayo napunta rin? A person who has been born of God in the past will be characterized by ongoing faith in Jesus as the Christ, the Son of God. So, what, so one way that you can tell if you've been born again to is, is to answer the question do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God? Diyan pa po ba kayo? Kasi maraming mga evangelicals na... Ano nga ba? Evangelicals din tayo, di ba? Because many evangelicals, 
object to the teaching that regeneration precedes saving faith. Adiba? Kahit naman tayo nung una eh. Uh, we believe that, uh, well, we must believe first. First, first, first. We must have faith first. Before we will be regenerated. Uh, but it's the other way around pala. Salamat na lang, napunta tayo. <laughs> UAE. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dahil tayo punta, ganun pa rin tayo doon sa... Sabi ng mga critics, how 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 can God or His preachers call upon people to believe in Christ as Savior if they cannot believe? Another sermon. Another sermon. So they make faith the means of regeneration rather than the result. So, pero maaari din naman nating sabihin na uh, how could Jesus command a dead man, Lazarus, come forth? Isn't it futile to command a dead man to do anything? Oh, oh. Unless it is the will of Jesus to raise him from the dead. Uh, with the command, God imparts the power of the new life. Dipo ba? So that Lazarus can obey God. Yeah, pag hindi ka na, na hindi ka na impart ng bagong buhay dahil sa kalagayan nating makasalanan, we were dead in our trespasses. Uh, we have no the ability or the capability to listen man lang or to believe or to have faith sa about the gospel. Sabi ko, ano? Uh, pero dati, it's the other way around. So, Lazarus coming forth is clear evidence that he had already received new life from God. So, faith is the, the evident result of the new birth, not the cause of it. <coughs> Faith has a clearly defined object. Saving faith believes in the person of Jesus. Specifically, specifically it believes that He is the Christ. Dito sa uh, verse 1. Everyone believes that Jesus is the Christ, has been born of God. And sa verse 5, He believes that Jesus is the Son of of God, dito sa uh, uh, verse 5 na binasa natin. So, to believe that Jesus is the Christ, na si Jesus ang Kristo, kinakailangan nating maniwala doon sa historic person about Jesus of Nazareth. Di po ba? And He is God's anointed one. He is the Messiah. He is the one promised and prophesied in the Old Testament. He is the one who would save His people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1, verse uh, 21. So, to believe that Jesus is the Son of God means that He is the eternal God, the second person of the Trinity in human flesh. So, isa doon ang hindi natin paniwalaan Ang lagi nga sinasabi ni Pastor Rangay, there's a problem. You will be, uh, you will be problematic. Uh, your, your, uh, your stand will be problematic. Uh, kasi isa doon ang hindi mo napaniwalaan about sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, maapektuhan ang iyong uh, mga iba pang mga pinaniniwalaan at paniniwalaan pa doon sa mga nakasulat sa Biblia. Dahil lahat ay nakasentro sa ating Panginoon. The Jews of Jesus' day I clearly understood that His references to Himself as the Son of God were a claim of deity. Naintindihan ng mga Jews yun. Yung mga tao lang ngayon ang hindi nakakaintindi. 
Uh, pinapaintindi ito sa atin, pero ang iba ayaw intindihin. Dahil merong mga bagay na masasagasaan sa kanilang uh, uh, pinaninindigan, sa kanilang mga pinaniniwalaan. Sayang naman, baka pag inimpose nila yun, kumonte ang aaten. Pag kumonte ang aaten, okay. <laughs> So, nung sinabi ng Panginoon na my father is working until now and my and I myself am working. Di ba? Ang uh, doon sa John chapter 5 verse 18, ang gustong gawin agad ng mga taong naroon ay batuhin siya. Hanggang sa siya ay mama, mamatay. Sabi nila, he was calling God his father, his own father. So, making himself equal with Jesus. Anong maging naging respond ng ng Panginoong Hesus sa ganong mga pangyayari, sa mga charges sa kanya? Ang respond niya ay hindi naman niya sila kinorek doon sa kanilang pagkakaintindi na mali. Hindi, mali ang pagkakaintindi niyo, hindi ko sinabi 'yun. Hindi yan ang ibig kong sabihin na na equal ako na nung sinabi, equal ako sa Diyos sa pagiging Diyos nung tinawag ko siyang aking ama. Hindi naman niya kinorek sa ganong pagkakaintindi nila. Bagkos, sa ilang mga pasahe, sa mga susunod na mga pasahe, inaffirm pa nga niya, pinatotohanan pa niya, His equality with God. Doon sa verses 19 hanggang sa 47, di na natin babasahin ng John chapter 5. Pagbalik, pagdating sa John chapter 20 verse 21, John affirms that the purpose of his gospel was so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in His name. Natatandaan ba natin yun? Nung, uh, nung ating siniris, natama ba yun? Nung nagsiris tayo sa uh, book of John, ang purpose ng kanyang uh, bawat isa sa amin ng mga nagpipridge laging inuuna yon. by the way, ang purpose ng book na ito ay ito, John chapter, chapter 20 verse 21 so to believe in Jesus as the Christ, the Son of God means that you entrust your eternal destiny and your right standing before God, not to anything in yourself including your faith, but entirely to Jesus and his substitutionary death on the cross for our or for your sins. We believe that he paid the debt that God uh, the, the, our, our debt to God that we owe. Uh, your faith rests completely upon the person and work of Jesus Christ. Pangalawa, faith has a clearly observable result. Ang sabi dito sa verse 4 and verse 5, Overcoming the world. Papasahin natin ulit, maya-maya. Tatlong beses binanggit ni John dito yung overcoming the world. By the way, yung world na binabanggit dito refers to the evil, organized system under Satan's dominion that is opposed to God and His holiness. May nabanggit din dito sa verse 4 uh, na and this is the victory that has overcome the world. Bigyan lang natin ng kahulugan yung salitang kanina, yung world ngayon, yung victory. Uh, ang Greek word nito ay is the same root as the verb for overcome. So victory, overcome dito sa verses 4 and 5. Uh, these terms or these words uh, are terms for warfare and battle. So, ito yung mga salitang uh, mailalapit natin doon sa mga salitang uh, pakikipagdigma or pakikipaglaban. Dahil the Christian life is armed combat against the enemy of our souls. So, John uses the different verb dito, yung una yung salitang overcomes dito sa chapter 4 verse 
uh, chapter 4, unang bahagi. Sabi niya, For everyone has been born of God, overcomes. At dito rin sa panimula ng verse 5, sabi niya, Who is it that overcomes? So, ito ay, kung mapapansin natin, ay present tense. It indicates ongoing. Di po ba? Uh, repeated victories over worldly powers and influences. So, yung salita namang overcome, has overcome, dito sa chapter, uh, verse 4 din, uh, it may look at the overall result as a whole. Showing that the normal Christian life is one of overcoming the enemy. Are we overcomers? Yes. 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 Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. Because you know, we are in the flesh. <laughs> and uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Excuses. So, uh, just give me time. And, uh, pasasaan ba? Doon din na pasasaan ba? Magiging okay din ang lahat. Pero by, by that excuses, you are, ano eh, uh, namimiss mo ang ilang mga, maraming mga bagay sa buhay Christian. Diba? Hindi naman ito patagalan. Hindi naman ito paramihan. Uh, hindi naman ang sukatan dito ay matagal na ako. Matagal na ako. Uh, kung tutusin ka, nung panahon na rito lang tayo sa UAE, nung pa lang tayo nag-umpis. Ang isang to say, uh, pero hindi, na, hindi, hindi naman natin winawal ng bahala yung ating Christian life before. Uh, pero I believe, sana, Pag uh, bumalik na tayo sa kanya-kanya nating mga uh, places of interest, ay uh, hindi na tayo hindi na tayo bumalik doon sa uh, dati. Ako pa naman hinihintay ang aking pagbabalik. <laughs> uh, hanggang ngayon hinihintay ang aking pagbabalik. So, uh, natutuwa ako doon sa kapatid ko, uh, sa mong kapatid sa... Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa. Kabuyaw, Laguna. Uh, sapagat nung nag-uusap kami tungkol dyan, uh, si-share ko sa kanila yung Reformed uh, Theology. Kuya, kuya, ganyan sa inatinan ko. Yung mga sinasabi mo, yung mga sinasabi ng pastor na ang sabi. Salamat naman. Uh, nakalimutan mo lang yung pangalan ng church. Uh, uh, sabi ko, reform? Oo, oh, oh, reform Theology. Yan, yan ang mga tinuturo sa amin. Saan yan? Mga puntahan nga yan. Uh, sabagat, uh, bibihira. Hindi mo ba? Uh, bakit pa tayo natin gano'n? Uh, bibihira yung gano'ng mga uh, ating uh, naririnig. Kasi, na, na ano eh, na, napupunta kasi sa compromise, di ba? Para, for the sake of unity. <laughs> Yun na nga eh. Napupunta sa compromise for the sake of uh, unity. Pero dapat nating tingnan kung ano ba talaga. Uh, major ba talaga itong kinocompromise natin or just uh, 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 the practicality of our everyday life. Uh, kasi in the long run, may epekto yun eh sa ating paninindigan bilang isa. Uh, Ano nga ba tayo pa sa protestant evangelicals mo yun? Uh, na bilang mga kristyano. So, nasaan na ba tayo? So, dito, uh, but has overcome, sabi ko nga kanina, ay uh, it may look at the overall result as a whole sa ating mga buhay. The emphasis is not on our faith, but on the object of our faith. Di po ba? Which is Jesus Christ. So, ang point lang naman ni John dito is that 
faith that God imparts to us in the new birth results in a life of consistent victory. We have overcome, has overcome the victories yung mga binabanggit niya sa verses 4 and 5. Siyempre, wala naman sa atin na uh, will be completely untainted by uh, the influences or the values of this uh, world. Pero ang point lang dito ni John na binanggit niya sa uh, chapter 2 verse 15, If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yun pa rin yung magiging pasihan natin. Uh, if anyone loves the world, well, the love of the Father is not in him. And, maybe, you are not born from above. Pwede ba natin i, 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 i yun? Those who are born of God should consistently and progressively overcome the world. Mahirap. 